Hi, I'm Danny Cluthy from Dodge, Nebraska, and I farm and have a hog enterprise system where I am energy efficient. When I read an article in the magazine where a dairy in California would put in an anaerobic digester and was making electricity from his waste, I thought, wow, you know what? If he can do it, I'll bet I can do it too. And so I did a little research and there wasn't but only about three or four uh, anaerobic digesters on hog operations in the United States. And they kind of told me that hog operations don't work. But I thought, if that dairy can do it, I think I can too. In this hog barn, we've got our pigs where they are high and dry. They got fresh water, fresh feed, and for their size and age, their feed is formulated. We change feeds quite frequently. So these hogs, they know they got the world by the tail. All of the waste, their manure, goes through the slats and into the pit below. And that's where we capture it so that I can take it down to the digester. And what we'll do is we'll go down there and take a look at the digester. Here we've got the digester. It's 80 feet wide, 14 feet deep, holds 440,000 gallons of good product. Good product is hog waste, manure. Every day, I take the hog waste, the manure, and feed the digester. The digester's got millions and billions of little bacteria in there. And that's what breaks down the manure, and we capture the methane, and we run it through a 3306 CAT engine that's running a generator 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The power district buys it all, puts it back into the grid, and for Cumming County, Anybody turning their lights on don't know the difference whether it's coming from Cooper Nuclear or Olean Energy. So it's kind of cool where we've got a hog waste that we can do these kind of things with. And then I learned to compress this methane. I compress it to 3,600 pounds in CNG, compressed natural gas tanks. I got a quick valve there where I uh, drive the pickup up. I run 80% methane, 20% diesel in my three quarter ton Chevy Duramax diesel pickup. And I run 90% methane and 10% diesel in my farm tractors. Methane is methane. Whether it comes from the oil fields as a natural gas or from a, a livestock enterprise system. Natural gas is selling for about two bucks a gallon. Diesel fuel is selling for about four bucks a gallon. It's a no-brainer. You know, I got about 7,500 head of hogs out here, and uh, the waste coming from that, I run about 60,000 cubic feet of gas a day. And someone told me one time that I can make a, I got enough electricity to supply 53 homes for a year. And I think I can make a short 300 gallons of diesel fuel a day. But anyway, when I can run 80% methane in my pickup and 90% methane in my tractor from a renewable energy source as a byproduct, hog waste, hog manure, that is energy efficiency. And all livestock enterprise systems can make their own diesel fuel their own electricity, their own propane, all from their animal waste. So, in, in my opinion, all waste, including municipalities, ought to process their waste. And I call this, it, it's an anaerobic digest, but I call it a manure processing system. And I think, just what I said, all waste ought to be processed. Methane is a natural resource. We're wasting it. We ought to be utilizing that. And uh, uh, we, I've been doing this for seven and a half years, making the electricity. I've been compressing it for a year and a half. It works. 
not only do we produce energy out here, but I make clean fertilizer, clean smelling fertilizer. All of the manure that goes through this anaerobic digester comes out 95% odorless. So we've got an excellent renewable energy project and we also got clean neighbor friendly fertilizer. I am a fifth generation farmer and to make the land better for our next generation, that's what I'm striving for. Not only are we uh, being environmentally friendly here, but we're actually uh, a better uh, uh, keeping the land uh, cleaner, keeping the land uh, more productive. Uh, when we leave here, we all want a better place than, than when we come. And, and that is exactly what I'm after. Uh, when I say a fifth generation farmer, uh, my great grandmother was the very first person buried in the Olean Cemetery across the road here. So our roots run deep here. And uh, I've got a son-in-law that's working with us that, uh, you know, that the next generation's coming on board. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're very excited about uh, keeping us uh, very environmentally friendly and uh, uh, looking for our next generation to, to follow in the footsteps.